to Just Desserts. My name is Renee Smith and my guest today is Jamie. And Jamie's the mother of two. And so we're going to talk about a game that she can play tonight over dinner with her children. Ready for a new game? I'm ready. Great. This one is called Peace, Not War. Okay. Now you probably have played this as a child under the name of war, but you know, I'm kind of funny that way. I didn't like to introduce that terminology into my classroom. So we call this peace. This can actually be played with very, very young children, just like you did with war, with, by turning over one card at a time. Mm -hmm. and, and in that way, they're working on number identification and rote counting and one-to-one -one correspondence because they can actually tap on the card to figure out what the number is. And so in, with little kids, you would just turn over one card at a time. But with older students, where we're starting to work on addition facts, subtraction, multiplication, uh, we would play this in a little bit different method. So that's the, we're going to kind of show both versions of that. So I'm going to finish dealing out all the cards. So you deal the cards out evenly to your okay. two players. And what we do if we're playing the very primary version is we would just turn over one card at a time. Now with little kids, <laughs> we didn't do this, but with little kids, I would take out the face cards and we would only have the ace through the ten. Okay. It's because normal. that way they don't have to remember what the face cards values are. But with older students, uh, we would, and obviously they couldn't count one to one here Correct. on a queen and a king, which is what we first turned over. But with older students, the jack would be worth eleven the queen would be worth 12, and the king would be worth 13. So in this case, you would have beat me because your value is 13 and mine is only right. 12. So you would take both cards. And we would flip over again. Oh, my gosh. Stacked the face cards at the top of the deck, How'd evidently. And so I have 12 here, and you have a 5, so I would get the cards. The object is to be able to be the person that collects all of the cards, and you just keep playing. As we run out of cards in our hand, we would turn this deck back over mm -hmm. and continue to play. And the object is to get all the cards for yourself. Now, on the off chance that we turn over the same card, let's just pretend, I, uh, well, let's pretend they're both the okay. same card. They're not. But if we turn over the same card at the same time, then we do a round of peace. We're going to do a peace talk rather than a war, okay? A peace so, talk? A peace, that well, we, <laughs> we, we would put down three cards apiece, face okay. down. And those are going to go to the winner. And then this card determines who gets all the cards that are in this round. So I turned over a three and you got so a jack. I so am. you would get them all. Okay. So that's how you would play with very young children. One card at a time, learning number identification and one-to-one -one correspondence. And the one-to-one -one correspondence was what? Again, if I turned over a two, knowing that this is one and this is two, so that they, get, they can actually find, see and touch each of the things that makes that number's value. That's interesting because I never even thought about the numbers and having the actual amount and counting those Right. On a, on a deck of cards, it's a really nice tool for, for little kids. So that's how we would play with very primary age children. Okay. Now, if I have school age children and we're wanting to practice on addition math, our math facts, uh, you can do either addition, subtraction, or multiplication. So before you start the round or the game, you would agree upon what you're going to do, what you're okay. going to practice. So let's say we're going to practice addition, okay. and we remember that the the jack is worth 11, so we're going we're gonna to push them a little. The jack is worth 11, the queen is worth 12, and the king is worth 13. Okay. Okay, so we would turn over two cards, and we would add the total. So I have a queen, which is worth 12. And a 5, so I have 17. And I have 11, and I have 6, and so mine is 17. How did that happen? So now we're going to do a peace talk. Okay. So we're going to put down 3. And like, then 2 oh, more? That's almost like we stacked the deck, and we actually yeah, we, did. We so there you go. So now, oh, turn over the last one. Yay, my little 6 won. So I would get to collect all of those cards into my catch pile. So then we just do this one just... The one only. We don't have a second one to multiply them. No. Okay. We would just, this card is the one that determines. Okay? So I would collect up all the cards from that hand, and we would just keep going. We would turn over two more cards, do our addition fact, and I've got, oh, oh you beat me that time because no. I've got 16, got and you've got, and 6 is 18. There you go. Sorry, a little that, That's okay. There. So you would get the four cards, and we would just keep going and continue to play with this. Now, if, if it keeps going on and on and on, because sometimes those, those peace 
talks and things can go on for a long time, uh, you might want to set a timer. And whoever has the most cards at the end when the timer goes off, that's the winner. So what do you think? It's a great variation of the game. I never, I mean, I played peace <laughs> as a child. You played war as a yes, child, I didn't you? War. I know. But I never played it the other way, and I never used the multiplication and yeah, it's a great way to do facts. If you do multiplication, again, you might want to take out the face cards because a lot of kids only learn up through 10, the 10 facts. But it's a good way to push them a little bit, too. So, you know, you can decide. As they get a little stronger in their, in their multiplication facts, you might put those face cards back into the deck. It's a great idea. Join us again next time on Just Desserts when we'll play some more math games with your kids. For more information, visit MyKidsTurn.com.